Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Game. Today I'm going to talk to you about resonance in a wristwatch. Let me explain. We will show you this mechanical wonder with the Armin Strom dual time resonance here. The phenomenon called resonance was discovered around 400 years ago and is a technique whose main objective is precision and rate stability, in this case talking about use in a normal wristwatch. This for me fascinating mechanism ensures maximum precision and can be admired here on the dial side. Sometimes you can also find those on the movement side of the watch. So a watch carrying the name resonance is actually a timepiece which is more complex to create than many think. It's actually two independent watch movements with its own escapement mechanism constructed in a single watch case. Sometimes it's made in like a sandwich, so one on top of the other, or here side by side. They work together hand in hand, in this case with the in-house patented Armstrong resonance clutch spring to ensure precision and to regulate each other. So for the sake of easy understanding, the patented clutch system which we see here is actually a key component to making this concept work on a daily manner. It works quote unquote like a communication device between the two balance wheels. It communicates to one and the other when one moves too fast or too slow, so they can align the speed and serve the accuracy of the watch. Also when an outside shock occurs and slows down one and then increases the speed of the other by the same amount, both will strive to get back in resonance, averaging and minimizing the effects of the outside influence. So comparing a tourbillon to resonance, which many people do, resonance is actually more complicated to achieve in a wristwatch and it requires many many years of research and development and is in my personal opinion worth the same price as a tourbillon or much more. So to quickly summarize the advantages of resonance, there are first of all stabilizing effects of timekeeping aka better accuracy, two conservation of energy and three reduction of negative outside effects on the precision. I personally love watches where you can see how the balance spring moves on the dial and having two with this cool clutch spring connecting them is just a delight to observe. If you have any questions about the resonance, how it works in a wristwatch, leave a comment down below and also click the link in the bio. You'll get a broader explanation there. If you have any wishes or if you want us to review any other watch complication or feature, also let us know. Thank you for watching and see you next time.